So, yeah, let's talk about sunflowers a little bit. We've got a couple different types of sunflowers here. Um, in general, sunflower, we like sunflowers in our plots for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's a very deep taproot uh, and, and it's inexpensive seed for, for these open pollinated sunflowers. Um, it, and uh, they're highly mycorrhizal. They've got a great root system, uh, very, very supportive of earthworms and other biology in the soil. Uh, at this at this growth stage here, cattle will eat them pretty well. They're fairly palatable. Now when they get bigger, they're not going to be as palatable. Uh, but it's just hard to find a, a cheaper taproot to really go after some of those compaction layers. And as you can see out here, you know, we don't we don't have a tremendously solid stand and we don't necessarily want that for cover crop sunflowers. We generally only use one or two pounds an acre uh, because we don't want them to dominate the entire cover crop mix. We just want those tap roots every so often kind of punching holes down through that hard base. Yeah, and if you look at everything that we filmed today, this is by far the most impressive biomass of any single species. I mean, sunflowers, and, and they're not really a, a, a cool season crop. I mean, they, you'll never see them over winter. Uh, the amount of growth these sunflowers have put on in a short period of time is really very impressive. Uh, one of the, I don't know if you'd call it a, a heat tolerant cool season or a cool tolerant warm season, uh, but it seems to work pretty well at colder temperatures than any other warm season plant. And uh, the root system, people talk about the tap root, but to me, I'm impressed by just the volume of the root system. Very good soil conditioner, uh, they're attractive to a lot of beneficial insects. Um, just a lot to be said for putting a pound or two of sunflowers in a lot of different cover crop mixes. Yeah. And I'll, I'll talk just a little bit. We've, we've got both the, the cobalts, which are over here, and they're definitely taller. They're a true hybrid, but they're very expensive also. This is what we would plant if we wanted to harvest the sunflower seeds uh, to haul to the crush plant for the oil market. Uh, for a cover crop, we're not necessarily concerned about seed production as much as just that root growth and development. So we would use more of a peridobic type or an open pollinated type sunflower. Probably aren't going to get quite as big, but it's a fraction of the cost. And so it's still going to accomplish what we want for keeping our seed costs down quite a bit by using.